Hey, everybody, off and running a new week here at Gulfstream Park on this 10 race Thursday, July the 23rd. Jason Blewett joining you from our clubhouse studios here at Gulfstream Park with the three dark days in the rearview mirror. A lot of ground to cover on the broadcast tonight. Now, it was a partly cloudy afternoon here. Main track was fast. The turf was listed as good. We've got a couple of uh, very nice two-year-old Philly maiden turf races coming up fairly early. In fact, you have to wait a mere few seconds to the opening division of these two-year-old Philly turf-bound maidens in the Thursday opener. $65,000 maiden special weight. They will battle one mile, and we will go up to Pete Aiello for the call of race number one. Track is fast. The turf is good, and we're set for a start. Racing at Goldstream. From the far outside, Take Me As I Am was the first in to stride with Spanish Love Affair moving up. Beach Chick splits horses. These three are quickest. Audrey protects her rail spot and races from fourth. Up on the outside, that's No How, who's an early fifth. Floating a bit wide on that first turn is Pacific Princess. Down toward the inside is Danessa Lady, and the early trailer is West Side Girl. And the run around the first turn, Take Me As I Am from the outside to the rail and leads a length and a half. Racing in second position is Spanish Love Affair. Up on the outside, Audrey claims third. Beach Chick is back to fourth. On from fifth is an unhurried know-how. Next at the rail and Danessa Lady. At the back are both Pacific Princess and West Side Girl. They had five furlongs from home, and they completed a quarter in 24 and 4. Take me as I am with pace pressure from Spanish Love Affair on the outside. These two are three and a half lengths better than Audrey, who's racing by herself in third. Know how in the pink colors far outside a joint fourth from between horses Danessa Lady at the inside and Beach Chick. Followed next by West Side Girl and Pacific Princess at the back, and these top two try to get away. They went 50 and 2 for the opening half mile. With the advantage, take me as I am up on the outside, Spanish Love Affair is their second. These two continue to dominate. They're seven ahead of Audrey, who's third. Beach Chick is fourth, followed fifth by West Side Girl, and a quarter of a mile left to go. It's Spanish Love Affair who comes away with the lead for Victor LeBron by three quarters. In 114 and three, less than a quarter of a mile to go, and Spanish Love Love Affair is kicking clear with authority. Spanish Love Affair by five by six. Here's a good late run from West Side Girl to try to get into second, but nobody gets to Spanish Love Affair. She's an eye-catching eight or nine length winner. Up second is West Side Girl. Back to third, take me as I am. Then Beach Chick and Audrey. the center, Sizzling Roma gets the first call. She's one Mad Mama, and Chicky the Gray moved to challenge. Away in fourth is marching in. The two favorites are the last two into stride. Varsovia inside of Adonai Bless. They head to the half-mile grounds. Chicky the Gray has an early tussle with She's One Mad Mama up front. After a good beginning, Sizzling Roma backs off to race in step with marching in, and the two at the back, Varsovia and Adonai Bless. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. They're paired off two by two by two as they head three furlongs from home. With the advantage, she's one Mad Mama right alongside Chicky the Gray, marching in a three wide third. Sizzling Roma needs some place to go. Varsovia is working into the clear for an opportunity. Adonai blesses last and wide as they run to the top of the stretch. All six within two and a half lengths of each other, a quarter of a mile from home. She's one Mad Mama has rail position far outside. Varsovia begins to motor. In between horses, Chicky the Gray loose and charging. Sizzling Roma. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Still four across the course here. Varsovia. She's one Mad Mama torn between horses and Sizzling Roma. Sizzling Roma up for a narrow lead. She's one Mad Mama. Fights hard, but Sizzling Roma has the upper hand, and Sizzling Roma will win it. Second, she's one Mad Mama. Third, Varsovia. Then Chicky the Gray and Adonai Bloods.
happy is simply super. He polishes off an outstanding campaign with a dominant victory in the Malibu. No medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. away quickly from an inside draw far outside alexandra am i splitting horses and race day speed on the go also into the top flight goes director's cut director's cut looks like she wants to lead the race as they run into that first turn alexandra i am is very wide on the course and race day speed marches forward so race day speed will take an outright lead over Alexandra M.I., who's up into second, back to third and director's cut on hold while fourth is I get it. Next at the rail and sleek links alongside Tap Tap Birdie. They're about five lengths off the pace setter. That's a length and a half to Bold Article, who races inside of Liesel, and Indy Front is at the back. The entire field separated by seven lengths through the opening quarter mile of 23 and 3. With the advantage, race day speed, a length and a half. I get it as their second. Director's cut at the inside, now third. Tap, tap, birdie secures the two path and moves sharply to the leaders now. Dropping back is Alexandra M.I. Moving up a bit now is Bold Article. Sleek links as the public pick is down at the inside. Third last. Second last is Indy Front, and Liesel drops the trail through a 48 and three half mile. Into the far turn they go. Race day speed has been in front from the outset and leads three parts of a length. I get it. Is their second. Bold Article's on the outside of Director's cut. They're third and fourth. Tap Tap Birdie made a mid-race move and is flattening out. Sleek Links, Black Cap, Pink Cow colors getting underway while wide on the course but Sleek Links is on the move now after three quarters and one fourteen and one less than a quarter of a mile to go. I get it. Comes away with the lead but over his shoulder here comes Sleek Links a bit green shifting ground but shifting gears and up to take the lead. Director's Cut's going to run with her. Sleek Links is wandering. Director's Cut with more professionalism down toward the inside. These two. Director's Cut Comes through inside. Director's cut wins. Sleek links was second. Well clear of tap tap batter. A birdie in third. Then I get it. And bold article. is step slow and so is Maria's Mirage. Pretzel was away quickest and she's going to try to work over to the rail. She crosses and clears and leads by two. Up on the outside, Heart of God takes over second from VK Star between horses. Mermaid's Tear is fourth. Fifth inside, Lila's Mark. Back to the outside of Maria's Mirage, then Gold Country and no speed from Miraculous as they chase Pretzel three furlongs from home. It's Pretzel on top from Heart of God who moves sharply to the leader now second back to third and VK Star. Mermaid's Tear is dropping back a touch with Maria's Mirage on the outside. Three back to Gold Country. That's all for Lila's Mark. And still at the back is Miraculous. We have a new leader. It's Heart of God and Alberto Burgos on to take over. Pretzel cuts the corner and tries to find under pressure. On from third, Maria's Mirage is still in range. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Heart of God roused on the top end and now she's putting things away. It's Heart of God now by five. Maria's Mirage is up into second, but Heart of God is an authoritative fourth race winner. Second, Maria's Mirage. Third is Pretzel. Fourth is VK Star. Then Mermaid's Tear. for the Rainbow Six, all set. And they're off. True Atka missed the start about three lengths. 
Everyone else was off in pretty much lockstep as highfalutin and perfect combination reach out for an advantage. Sense of millions in no hurry, backing off between horses. Beyond Magic is away in early fourth, followed fifth by Jessica, then Greycliff, and after a slow getaway, Truatka, last of all behind perfect combination and highfalutin. Highfalutin on the outside, perfect combination on the inside. Their heads apart. Sense of millions a tripped out third, although she'll need some place to go. Far outside, Jessica's on a mid-race move for Rios. Here she goes, four wide. That puts Gray Cliff in tight and Beyond Magic is toward the rail. Sense a million has now been shuffled to last as True Atka's underway while four wide. Five sixteenths to go. Perfect combination has been under siege throughout, but she maintains the rail and the lead. Jessica is there second on the outside. True Atka is now third. Trying to thread the lead here is Sense a million from fourth. She got through inside of Beyond Magic, but perfect combination is still in front. Jessica looms up alongside. Now Jessica takes a narrow lead. Perfect combination is there second. True Atka down the stand side with a sense a million coming on. Final 16th of a mile. Jessica's still in front. True Atka takes aim, but missed as Jessica held on to win it. Jessica and Jesus Rios for the money over True Atka second in 111 and 4. and level beginning. From the far outside, Giannosis ridden for the early lead with on the inside of him, Dardanellos moving to challenge. At the rail, here's Machiavelli and from between horses, unlimited data. Back from there, it's King Tide alongside the Gray Mason Song as they run out of the chute. Giannosis puts a neck on top, right back at him is Machiavelli. These two work two lengths better than Unlimited Data and Dardanellos. They're third and fourth. Mason Song is back to fifth. Then comes King Tide, a length and a half to Awesome Party. In the early trailer is Bye Bye Man. 23 and four for the opening quarter as they head five furlongs from home. Machiavelli has the lead a half a length. Giannosis keeping tabs on him while only a neck behind. Unlimited Data is together with Dardanellos. Dardanellos out in the clear third. A gap of five to King Tide, then Awesome party out wide and bye bye man and dropping to last is Mason Song 46 and 2 for the opening half mile three furlongs left to run Giannosis between horses Machiavelli working overtime toward the rail three wide and Dardanellos a gap of two and a half to unlimited data who's going to try a rail run from fourth a gap of another six or seven to awesome party with a quarter of a mile left to go Giannosis now tackled by Dardanellos unlimited data up the inside now tries to rally home and they're at the top of the stretch three quarters 111 and one very wide off the turn was Dardanellos but Dardanellos is up for a narrow lead. Giannosis is there second, back to third and unlimited data. Final 16th of a mile. Dardanellos is all over the place, but he somehow maintains a narrow advantage. Giannosis tries to battle back, but Dardanellos is in front, and Dardanellos wins. Dardanellos beat Giannosis a half a length. Third was unlimited data, and fourth, King Tide. Completing the high five was bye-bye, man. They're up. 
Good start for the Princes. Handsome Prince and Bahamian Prince from the outside draws. Beyond Gone is quickly on the go now, and Beyond Gone will take up the lead as under Edgar, under Edgar Prado as they link up with the main track. Bahamian Prince is there second. Here's Plato, a keyed up runner behind the speed. Plato's hunting racing room. Macho Doro is next out wide, and the Handsome Prince in the trailer is avant garde. The entire field separated by two and a half lengths, five furlongs from home, with Beyond Gone having them stacked and packed behind him through just a 23 and three reasonable opening quarter. The Hamian Prince's second, Plato is at the rail third, still searching for some place to race. Wide on the course and Handsome Prince alongside Avant Garde, and now the trailer is Macho Doro. Around the far turn they go. Avant Garde, the first to play his hand. He's three wide on the outside, with Beyond Gone holding the lead and the rail. The Hamian Prince is between horses, Handsome Prince is next. Next. Plato was tugging for three furlongs, but quickly backpedaled. Macho Doro's been no factor, and they've got to be on gone. 46 and three for the opening half mile. Far outside, avant garde, threatening to blow this wide open. He comes away with momentum and the lead. Bahamian Prince is back to second. Beyond gone is third, then Handsome Prince. Final 16th of a mile. It's all about avant garde. Nine to two under jockey Lionel Reyes, and moving clear. Avant garde, a much improved son of Tonalist to win by three. Second, Bahamian Prince. Third was Handsome Prince. Then Beyond Gone in 123 flat. at the break was Colonel's daughter. Good start out wide for Nowitna River, but put into play early is Patient Digna on to challenge. Yako the Gray is tugging in spicy Nelly Hunt's racing room between horses. Vineyard Nina is on heels behind me in top uh, four there. A gap of two to Colonel's daughter, rather Valley Date, and then at the back is Colonel's daughter. Out of the chute, on to the main track. The leader is Patient Digna, a length and a half. Spicy Nelly is together with Nowitna River second and third. Yako the Gray at the rail is fourth. Back to fifth goes Vineyard Nina on from sixth and Colonel's Daughter. And seventh and last now is Valley Date. 24 and two for the opening quarter. Less than five furlongs to run. Loose up front. Patient Digna leads by a length and a half. Race favorite No Whitner River on the outside now. Second with on the inside Spicy Nelly third. At the rail and Yako from fourth two in front of Colonel's Daughter. Then Vineyard Nina and Valley Date at the back. Around the far turn they go. No Whitna River goes on the attack now. So does Yako. They're on either side of Patient Digna. Back to fourth and Spicy Nelly. Then Colonel's daughter and Valley Date. At the back is Vineyard Nina. Five sixteenths from home. No Whitna River now strides forward to lead three parts of length. Yako at the rail is there second. Trying to follow her is Colonel's daughter. Underway from the back is Valley Date. Still many chances here. They fan across the course. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. It's Yako who comes through inside for the lead. Valley Date charging down. Down the center and in between horses, Colonel's Daughter. Final eighth of a mile, Valley Date up for a narrow lead. Colonel's Daughter runs right with her. Yako is back to third. Final sixteenth of a mile, Colonel's Daughter tries to get Valley Date. Valley Date and Colonel's Daughter, it's Valley Date. Valley Date, a last to first winner under Hector Berrios. Second was Colonel's Daughter, then Yako and no Whitna River.
Great start for Classy Beast and Lindsay's Lucky Lady. Nearest the inside here is Sweet Mia moving up. Away in fourth is Adeline, and the early trailer is Reluctant Bride. So the speed defers to Lindsay's Lucky Lady, who's front and center at the 5'8", leading Sweet Mia by a length. For the outside and Classy Beast now third, and the two at the back are Adeline and Reluctant Bride. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn, Harmeo and Lindsay's Lucky Lady with smooth sailing to this stage, and she just went 22-3 and three for a very reasonable opening quarter for these quality fillies and mares. Sweet Mia's hard at work nearest the inside, Classy Beast alongside. Then Reluctant Bride and Adeline as one of the favorites is last of the five and not picking up her feet much at all as they run to the top of the stretch. Lindsay's Lucky Lady has been given every opportunity from here. She's got her ears up and she went 45-3 and three for a half mile. Off the turn with a three-length lead. Adeline cuts the corner and now starts to hit high gear. Down the center and Reluctant Bride with an eighth of a mile to go. Lindsay's Lucky Lady is trying to hold on, but Reluctant Bride taking a pretty effective shot at her down the center. Here's Reluctant Bride in front and going away. Second was Lindsay's Lucky Lady, Adeline third, then Classy Beast and Sweet Mia. Post, ready for the finale. And runners away. Inconvenienced at the start was stop it. Great beginning for the favorite Senza Zioni, put into the race by Berrios and on top and over to the inside. From the outside, that's first salvo, and now here's stop it. Stop it, even after being sandwiched at the beginning, is up near the lead. Away in fourth is Angel's entry, followed out wide by Estillo Pelagroso. Escribano is between horses. Temple City of Doom is at the rail, and Ultra Confident is up and by both of them. The two at the back are Lord Doro and in honor of Artie. At even money, Senzizione takes no prisoners at the 5 eighths, leads by three over Stop It in second. Ultra Confident moving through at the inside. He's now into a joint second. Back to fourth goes Angel's entry. A length and a half back to first Salvo. He's racing outside of Estillo Pelagroso. And then it's another length to Lord Doro ahead of an honor of Artie. Escribano made a brief bid only, and the trailer is Temple City of Doom. 46 and 3 for the opening half mile. Senza Zioni paving a quick path up front, but he's stretching him out a bit now. He's three furlongs from home, and he's five on top. The one making ground is Estillo Pelagroso. He's up on the outside and into second. Back to third, ultra confident from the back. Here's an honor of Artie with the mid race move, and a quarter of a mile left to get. It's Senza Zioni with a sizable advantage at the quarter pole. He went three quarters and 111 and 4 and turns for home, five on top. Estillo Pelagroso has bit is stalled, so is in honor of Artie, with an eighth of a mile still to get. Senza Zioni has one danger, and it's himself as he's in front by five. Estillo Pelagroso and an honor of Artie battle for second, but Senza Zioni was never threatened. He won the finale by as much as he wanted, maybe six in the end. It's going to be an honor of Artie getting second, Estillo Pelagroso third. First salvo was fourth, and ultra confident to complete your high five in 138 and four. And that will do it on this 10 race Thursday afternoon. Of course, we're running here tomorrow as our 2020 summer season continues at Gulfstream Park. Friday, July the 24th, we'll have nine races in the mix. 100K guaranteed in the Stronic 5, and that'll set us up for another weekend. A couple of stakes on that Saturday card, including the likes of Galleon Mast and Ladies Island. They look like the box office stars then. We wish you the best of luck tomorrow, and we will see you next time right here on Thoroughbred Action.